www.tpmusic.com, boy. Um, could you say it one more time? You said how it affected. Well, I'm just saying, like, do you have any thoughts about how and why so many great artists were able to come out during that period when you guys, you know, oh, okay, in okay. the mid 90s, like, what inspired that? Why is Queens okay. the best place? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, it had a lot to do with definitely our neighborhood and, um, you know, just our particular circumstances of me and my partner Happy. And, uh, and um, you know, just. For myself, it was like growing up with sickle cell, growing up with that pain, you know, um, since I was born. Um, it definitely had like some, I had like some mental issues going on, just being in the hospital by myself for weeks and weeks at a time and almost, you know, feeling like I'm about to die sometimes and being close to death sometimes. It kind of affected me definitely like how, you know, um, the style of music that I was into. Because when I was a little kid and I first heard hip hop, that's what attracted me to it, was like this aggressiveness. Because I was an angry kid and going through what I was going through. So the first thing that attracted me to hip hop was it was so aggressive. And it was a way that I can get my anger out and just be aggressive too. So, you know, um, that helped shape <laughs> our sound a lot, you know, from me going through that. And then also the neighborhoods that we came up in, you know, um, you know, our friends in the neighborhood, like uh, Queensbridge and Queens and, and where I'm from, where I was born and raised in Hempstead, Long Island, it's like, those are rough neighborhoods. Like, and um, you know, a lot of our friends, they were into a lot of stuff. And a lot of our friends wouldn't let us do certain things. Like the older dude, the older dude, they was like, nah, you're not selling drugs, go back in the studio, yo. You know, so that, that helped shape my mentality a little bit where, you know, it's okay to not, do certain things like yeah, and it's okay for me to say that in my songs and tell other young people, nah, I don't do that. Do the right thing. Cause somebody did that for me. You know, the older drug dealers in the neighborhood used to tell me, nah, you can't sell drugs. Y'all got music. You go back in the studio. You're not out here doing it. I ain't gonna let you do that. You know. And so all of that type of stuff affected our music and the style of music and how we, you know, write our lyrics and um, you know, just just a lot of negativity 